2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hey guys, I can't wait to watch these two go at it again. It was an incredible battle first time round and I think there'll be a few shots fired out here. Yeah, beating young Morikawa seems to be one of the toughest challenges out on tour these days, but I'm certainly excited to see how this rivalry fares today. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Well struck. Around 110 yards to go. Well, this one's right at the pin. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Little birdie look in here. Oh, 
that had eyes for it. Lovely shot. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first. Great job. Currently one under for the tournament. The second, a short par four, one that the players like to take on these days, Rich. A good birdie look here. They do. It used to be where you laid back on top of the hill and took a wedge, nine iron sometimes for your second shot. But a lot of players now are challenging that bunker down the right hand side, getting as far down there as possible and just having a flick with a sand wedge in for their second. Lovely effort, that. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Oh, what about this start? Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. Let's take a look at Colin Morikawa. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. There are so many stunning holes on this entire property, but there's few more picturesque than this downhill par three third. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful, can be extremely painful to play. Downhill all the way, when they tuck the pin over on the left-hand side, forget about it, never hit it there. Only when the pin is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking dead aim. Other than that, center the green all day long. This one is all over it. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Putting for birdie here. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. One of the hardest holes on the entire property is the par four fourth ridge. It is a strong demanding hole right from TD Green. Very picturesque, this fourth hole. Pacific Ocean directly to the golfer's left-hand side. Don't be sucked in the, by the views, however. You want no part of that. And you certainly don't want any part of that fairway bunker down the right-hand side either. Find the fairway, and you've got a good chance at knocking it on this green in two. Be wary, though. Anything long and left on this green is no good. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Uh, that's going right. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And a fantastic look upcoming. And he's down there. You got a read? If this goes in, this is going to be putt of the century. This is huge. Uh, the dreaded shove always hurts on the greens. Just six feet between here and the hole. This is looking solid, what they wanted. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to four under. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. There's a real premium on your tee shots here at Torrey Pine South Course. Keeping ball in fairways critical. And that is illustrated also by the par four fifth. This fairway cambers from left to right, which helps a fade on this hole. However, don't get too overzealous and pull it because that fairway bunker down the left, that sees a lot of action. Second shot is a green that pitches back towards you from back to front. That's got a lot of movement over on the left-hand side. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. Looks like they pushed this one. Bad got a little out of control, I think. 
Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. Time now for the fourth shot. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Setting up here with a very long putt. Shame it didn't drop. Well, an untimely double by our leader, and the rest of the field's eyes have lit up. A chance to bounce back here. Oh, will this one hang on and find the fairway? Or is it headed towards the rough? John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, guys, I'm down on the 13th hole. This is Justin Thomas prepping his next shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Sitting at two under par, currently in the lead. Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. Great touch. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. The par four seventh, a little dog leg left to right. Again, positioning off the tee is key. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down the left-hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the Canyons come into play. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. And what's in front of them there, Henny? setting up here from about 180 yards. This one looks to be bunker bound, Rich. Not good. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Come out of the rough, your distance control gets off. Okay, safely on the surface, a chance for the putt to be hold here. Let's see if we can make this. And keep the par on the card. This one's looking good. Well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice power putt. Now, eight shots in front. We head up the hill away from the ocean here at the eighth hole, Rich. A lovely par three, but all the challenges in the green. It is. It's very wide, not very deep. Players going in there with kind of mid irons to short irons. Uphill the entire way, difficult to get it on that back level when they stick the pin all the way on top. Going with the seven. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. Well, that'll work. Up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. They're lining up the birdie putt here. OK, 
tight. Steady now. Six feet remaining to the cup. Nice line. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Yeah, that was tricky with that wind. Great shot there. And after that effort, this is how the leader looks. Our current leader now enjoying a nine-stroke lead. The par 5 ninth is a monster over 600 yards rich. Challenging, to say the least. I think the challenging part about it, Lucas, is just straight away. You have to hit a straight tee shot, a straight second shot, and a straight third shot to find the green in three. It really is just that simple and straightforward. The green does have two tiers on it, but for the most part, Luke, it's an inviting third shot. Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? Well, it's a little deeper into the rough, but it's sitting nicely. Getting ready to play their third. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. They have absolutely flushed that one. Colin Morikawa, he was meant to be the original and best approach player, but I think we have a new sheriff in town. Oh, what a great stroke. Nice judge's speed. What an opportunity to make a birdie. by the hole that's just about three feet away nice little par putt here and after that hole this player is ahead by a whopping 10 strokes well the leader put their foot down early today and has moved to a whopping double digits lead and it's only the first round uh, it's heading to the rough for mine Oh, in the fairway bunker. These are always the tough shots. <laughs> On the green now, but a bit of work left to do here. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Ouch, that hurts. This is a par putt. Looks good. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. Bunkered off the tee, wasn't able to find the green, but saves the par with that putt. There aren't too many easy holes here at Torrey Pine South, but the course certainly gets tougher as we head to the par 3 11th. This green from the back tee looks minuscule. There's just not a lot of room on the front of it. Even the back section, which it does get a little bit wider, it still is very small. A massive shelf, top left. If you get it up there, happy days for you. If not, just find the green, two putt, make three, move on. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Now over to Colin Morikawa. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And back to the course with the live action. Good chance to take it even deeper here. This putt's for four under.
Oh, so close. A par putter waits. Let's take a look at the leaderboard now after that hole, and they're currently in first. Lydia Ko holds second. That's not the one he wanted. Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? Not the best tee shot, but they got lucky with this lie. Going with a three wood here. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. Yeah, that one will play. A chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. And that's a long-range bomb. And rest assured, their rival will be looking over their shoulder. And after that fine display, they are holding first spot on the leaderboard with Lydia Ko trailing in second place. All right, Rich. The par 5 13th, so much has been said about it. I'm interested in your thoughts. This is one of the most interesting par fives you'll ever play. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult third shots on the PGA Tour, bar none. Second shot here on the 13th hole. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Oh, that's a poor lie. Will he be able to get out of here? He's going to need a digging truck, maybe? I don't think a sandwich is good enough to get this out. That's incredible. Oh, that was right down the pipe. Trying to get to five under with this putt. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. He's currently sitting in first place. Time to face a par four. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Time to take a look at some of the action from elsewhere on the course. And back to the play, shall we? Playing from 110 yards out. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine nice -nine. shot, that. That should find the surface. Terrific shot and a chance for birdie coming up here at the 14th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. 
Well done. Take the birdie. And with that, he'll move to five under par. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. We stride across the 15th, Rich, and we talk about strong par fours. This is another one. As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it, with a tiny, tiny landing area out there. This is possibly the meanest hole on this golf course. Not hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. Opting for the five iron. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Not too sure what happened there. That's a very uncharacteristic mistake. Okay, let's get back to the action. Sitting at five under for the day. Outright first here. And he needs this to save par. <laughs> Disappointed to see their par putt slide by there. And now four under for the day. 16th, the last of the par threes on this golf course, but it's not an easy one. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size, but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to this green. The front, the back right, and the top left. If you find the right section, job well done. If you don't, it's going to be a difficult two-putt, to say the least. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? A bit short with that effort. Ooh. Nice little sand shot there. Came real close. Well, this would be a great par putt if you can make this. That's a good putt to make, that one. Currently four under for the event. The penultimate hole at Torrey Pines South is not a long par four, but the danger lurks everywhere. They moved this fairway to the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really enhanced the beauty but also the fear of this hole. You have to challenge the left-hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. From there, the green, it tilts from back to front, mostly with a really low section over there on the left-hand side. However, it still is a promising birdie opportunity. Chosen the pitching wedge here. And this one's heading towards the cabbage. Seemed to lose the handle on that shot. And here we are with the third shot. How close was that to going down? Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Currently in first position. The finishing hole here at Torrey Pines South, one of the more famous on the PGA Tour, site of so many of Tiger's wonderful victories. Par five, you can get there in two. You can, but you have to thread your drive in between those four fairway bunkers that line the fairway. From there, now you have to think, do I want to take on this flag with the bunkers right, bunkers left, and certainly the water in front. It's a daunting second shot, but if you're brave enough to take it on, then you could reap massive rewards. Oh, I love this person's confidence and courage. Driver off the deck here. Getting ready to play their third.
And this punt is for a big four on the scorecard. Just didn't drop. That'll sting a bit. Ah, that's annoying. You should make that. This next punt is for Bogey. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. And Rich, as this round comes to an end, this player is absolutely dominating the field. Always good to be out in first place. That means you can afford to make a mistake tomorrow, but you don't want to make too many of them with the chasing back and lurking behind. Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this next golfer starts their round. What do you think about their chances today? Luke, this player has got a massive lead. And sometimes those are the worst to have because... You feel as a player, the only way that you can lose it is if you mess it up. And trust me, somewhere in the back of their mind, this player understands that. So it's going to be a nervy start, no doubt, to this final round. Let's wait to see what happens. Certainly excited to see how today plays out, Rich. Yeah, that one's looking good. Outstanding approach shot. Seven feet to the cup. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. That is definitely a confidence builder. And now four under for the tournament. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Second shot on the second. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Just three feet to the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful. Can be extremely painful to play. Downhill all the way when they tuck the pin over on the left-hand side, forget about it. Never hit it there. Only when the pen is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking dead aim. Other than that, center of the green all day long. Oh, standing ovation after that shot. Heck of a shot, setting up almost a guaranteed birdie. And now that finds him in first place. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Nice tee shot here. A little bit more room to the right than the players really feel like there is. However, that also brings a rough on the right-hand side of the play, and you don't want to be there, especially with this green that's set right back against the canyon. It's a difficult second shot, almost an infinite edge pool look, if you will. You really have to bear down and make sure you have a good idea of your distance control on your second shot. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. I think it's more like a gaggle of birdies, isn't it, Luke? Gaggle? Gaggle of birdies? A bonanza. Bonanza of birdies. Yep. All right. Beauty. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. 
I think he's got playing partner Colin Morikawa looking a little nervous after that shot. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? This is a 12-footer here. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And that will take him to seven under. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. This fairway cambers from left to right, which helps a fade on this hole. However, don't get too overzealous and pull it because that fairway bunker down the left, that sees a lot of action. Second shot is a green that pitches back towards you from back to front that's got a lot of movement over on the left-hand side. And Henny, what's he looking at here? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Just a little off with the accuracy there, unable to find the green. What's well, a strange miss there, Look, They've been hitting the greens all day long. I'll be glad to be putting now. And if this can go down, he'll save par. Four feet to the cup. Ah, that's frustrating. Oh dear, this next putt now for double bogey. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. It's a nice reprieve, this par five. Just a little bit dog leg from left to right. Keep it shy of those fairway bunkers down the left-hand side, and almost every player will give it a go in two. This is a three-tiered green with a low area over on the left-hand side that sees a lot of action. Opting for the three-wood. That dog will hunt. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Has to putt this one downhill. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? You know, Luke, I've heard this metaphor before. Every once in a while, a blind squirrel finds an acorn. I believe that rings true in this scenario. Was that a good line? This putt just five feet away from the hole. This is important, big par putt here. There it is. Currently at minus five now for the event. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down the left-hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the Canyons come into play. Pretty good shot there. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will take him to six under. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Oh, that 
that one straight at the pipe. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. This part of about seven feet to the hole. This for a birdie birdie run. Ooh, right by the hole. Three feet to go here to the hole. I don't mind the look of this. He's currently sitting in first place. Ooh, bold play here. Going with the Chief off the tee. Look, it's just a straight par five, 615 yards. You gotta hit a straight tee shot, a straight second shot, and hopefully you hit a straight third shot. It can get challenging when they put the pin on the top left tier. That's when you can put a little too much spin on it and have it come chasing down to the front part of the green. That's no good. Sitting at six under, currently leading. The interesting choice of the driver here. And this player is really going after it here, Rich. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this part 17 feet from the cup. Ouch, that hurts. An opportunity for a birdie here. It's got a chance. Wonderful shot. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. So impressive all week long. I got to say, this player is on top of the golfing world at the moment. We've reached the beginning of the back nine, the 10th. It is. It cambers pretty good from left to right. So most players are going to take something less than driver, probably a three wood or a five wood, and try and hit a draw into that bank to slow the golf ball down. You find the fairway. The green sits slightly above you, but the difficult part about it is it's got three different sections, a front, a back left, and a back right. You got to get your second shot spot on to have the best opportunity for birdie. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Well, that's beautifully judged. This putt coming up is for birdie. And with that part hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. And that will take him to eight under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. This green from the back tee looks minuscule. There's just not a lot of room on the front of it. Even the back section, which it does get a little bit wider, it still is very small. A massive shelf, top left. If you get it up there, happy days for you. If not, just find the green, two putt, make three, move on. This would be a great up and down. Ooh, that almost went down. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Currently eight under overall. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. This is about as tough a hole as you're going to find anywhere on the planet. Prevailing wind coming right back into the players. You just have to step up and hit a solid tee shot to find the fairway from there. You're going in with a mid to long iron, sometimes even a hybrid to a green that sits just above you. Not a ton of movement, but enough from back right to front left to make you think.
Nice out the rough here. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. A birdie putter waits. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. The par five awaits here, but so does an opportunity. Take full advantage. This is one of the most interesting par fives you'll ever play. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult third shots on the PGA Tour, bar none. Oh, this is the stuff that gets the juices flowing. Driver off the deck. That was wonderfully done. Sitting at nine under, currently in the lead. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, what a shot. Mark it down as an eagle. And check out this little beauty. Nice touch. Yes, sir. Gets it to go. Thank you. Oh, that's an absolute beauty, hey, Beamer. Why don't we take another look at it? Well, Luke, I think he's found his distance. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the eagle. Nicely done. Second shot here on the 14th. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. Good chance this one. Right on six feet. Ooh, nice looking putt. Fair effort that. Good birdie.
So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Now on the tee of a long par four. As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it, with a tiny, tiny landing area out there. This is possibly the meanest hole on this golf course. Not hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. That's nicely done playing from around 190 yards out. Going with the five iron here. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Nine feet to the cup. Looking for another birdie here. That was a gallant attempt. It's just about three feet away. This is what they have left for par. That putt drops, and now 12 under par, heading down the stretch. Yeah, seemingly an insurmountable lead with just four to play. Gotta like his position. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size, but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to this green. The front, the back right, and the top left. If you find the right section, job well done. If you don't, it's going to be a difficult two-putt to say the least. Well, you're a ball striker, there's no doubt about that. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Putting for birdie. That's impressive. He just keeps extending his advantage over the field. He sits in first position. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. They moved this fairway to the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really enhanced the beauty, but also the fear of this hole. You have to challenge the left-hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. From there, the green, it tilts from back to front, mostly with a really low section over there on the left-hand side. However, it still is a promising birdie opportunity. That's a pretty handy shot. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Currently 13 under for the event. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last.
Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. Huge tee shot there, Luke. What a display of power. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Chip it in here, and he'll take the title. Certainly makes putty easy if you can chip it that close. Just I And there's your Farmers Insurance Open winner. A victory at Torrey Pines, extra special in anyone's career, Rich. Hats off to this player for winning this week, grinding out a victory on the very difficult South Golf Course over the weekend. Well, we saw the good, bad, and sometimes the ugly, didn't we? But it was certainly beautiful from the words that came out of Henny Koyak's mouth. Thank you, Henny, for your action today. Thank you, Luke. The pleasure was all mine. I got to see some incredible shots and some eh, not so good stuff, but what a day. Well, that was a thrilling day. And on behalf of myself, Luke Elby, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for your company. We look forward to the next time you join us.